So this morning I decided to add a twist to banana bread. I've insisted that the diva make white chocolate macadamia nut banana bread. And out of the blue she shows up with what? White chocolate macadamia nuts bananas. I mean, how did you know? I, you stole my line. I, you know, I always put a little twist on something and now you already divulged the secret. It's not my it's twist. It's banana bread with a twist. It's twist. It's your twist. It is my twist, but you know how I like to share with you mm -hmm. and the lovely viewers the audience, of say? the deuce. Yes. Yes. So banana bread. Macadamia nuts, white chocolate, mm -hmm. the way they melt together, you're gonna love it. It's heavenly. And you know, banana bread is the new cupcake. Did yes. you know that? <laughs> yes, you it know? is. I mean, you find it everywhere on the no, street. That's, that's all so. we talk about at home. The banana bread's the new cupcake? Yeah. Okay, 350 so, degrees. Okay. No, it's not mayonnaise, Tom. No. No, I it's know it looks white, appetizing. It's a half sweet. a cup of butter. Okay. Is it really? Ha yeah, half a cup of butter. Okay. What do you mean, is it really? What'd you think it was? Could have been melted white chocolate chips for all I know. You know, I won't argue with you. It could have been. Okay. Later. Cup of brown sugar. Oh, okay. you know I will. Cup of brown all sugar. All right. Cup of brown sugar. We're just gonna mix this all up. Okay. Now, as you know, banana bread is. It, you can eat it in the winter, spring, summer, fall. It's a nice comfort dessert in the winter. Although I try to avoid it in the fall. Yeah, I, I do too. I do too. Yeah. I don't know something I shy about away the fall. From banana bread in the fall. Oh, Tom, stop it. All right. So we're just gonna mix this up. Yes. But in the summer, it's nice too. With a in the little glass of yeah. tea or maybe a nice glass of wine. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Eggs. Okay. You know what eggs. I'm saying. Yeah. Step up to the party, Tom. What, Be you want them broken? I, please crack well, the eggs. What you got to say? I, I thought at this point in the game that if you get shell in here, so help me. <laughs> What's going to happen? You gotta, I, I don't know. Something. You're going to pound me? Something. All right, two eggs. Thank Gently you. Gently added. Gently added. We're just going to beat this on in. This is a... This is a hearty bread. You don't need to worry so much about putting the egg in one at a time right. and slowly incorporating nah, it in. Nah. I'm trying to teach you. I'm learning. Okay, teaspoon of vanilla. You're learning. Yeah. I never, there you go. I'm always Teaspoon paying attention. of vanilla. Yes. Now what I have here, cup and a half of flour. Right. Teaspoon cinnamon. Okay. Teaspoon baking soda, right. not powder, and half a teaspoon salt. That's what okay, I figured. Okay, we're just gonna stir that on up. Add this again. You don't have to be so careful where you add it in separate little. It's a rough, tough banana now, bread. Now, one thing about like pound cakes and banana breads and whatnot, it starts to get a little bit brown on the top. And this one will, especially because I'm using brown sugar, you want to make sure that you cook it for the full amount, even when it's dark. You want to make sure that it's 55 to 60 minutes. Because what happens if it doesn't bake long enough, it's going to start to sink in the middle. Caves and in. people tend to think that that's just from the elevation, but actually it's because you have not cooked your bread or cake follow instructions. long enough because you get a little frightened. You don't want it to be dry inside, you know? Oh my gosh. You can't cook what with fear. Happen? I've always said that. You can't no cook afraid. With fear. Now I have the cinnamon here because if you do like cinnamon, pop a little bit little more, more in. Okay. Right. Now what I have here is three mashed bananas. When your banana starts to look like this, yes. it's ready for banana bread. If you're not ready to make the bread, pop this in the freezer. This is good for six months in the freezer. You can take out this when you decide you want to make it, let it thaw, and, mash. and it's good to go. So you see this, you see garbage. I see beauty. You see look joy. at that. I see joy. Okay. Fold in the bananas. Now, what I have here is a cup of white chocolate chips. Right. Okay. You can use the bar. You can use the chips. And with the chips, with the one that I made, I did actually even kind of break up the chips a little bit. So there were really, really teeny tiny pieces. I use that. That's a little froggy thing. Dance. Yeah. So please put that in there. Okay. Okay. And I've got half a cup of macadamia nuts, which macadamia nuts are sweet, a little bit salty. They've got a creamy taste to them. And you know, you can buy them right like that in the package. Sure. You don't want to crack them. Macadamia, macadamia nuts are seriously a really hard nut to crack. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not talking about you, Green. I'm no. talking about macadamia, really. Are we They're hard to crack. In? Yes, please. Because right. you're almost out of time. I've been fold. standing here for, okay, just going to fold this on in. Okay. Okay. Shall, shall we pour? Do we have time? If we don't, then I'd, I don't need to. I'd recommend pouring. Okay. So what you're going to do is put this into your greased loaf pan. Right. Oh, it looks delicious. It will. Now, like I said, bake 50... It, it does look good right there. Oh, yeah, this Bake one this does. 55 to 60 minutes. Take this out. Let this cool a little bit. You can eat it warm, but if you want to completely flip it over and kind of... I added some toasted macadamia nuts on top and a little bit of chopped white chocolate. Slice it up, serve it. You're going to love it. That's all I can say. That's as all always, I can say. As always, we do it quickly for TV, but the website is right there. Uh, the, the, ad, the recipe's on the website at tothedeuce.com. All right, Danette, thanks so much. Thanks, Tom. All righty. Weather and traffic on the twos. Here's Jason now with a look at a soggy Monday. Uh